Okay, what you're seeing here is my little prototyping console. We'll be looking at the MC3475 stepper motor controller. Uh, just to give you an overview of this, here is an Arduino microcontroller, the 16-pin chip, the MC3475 is down here. What we have here is a row of indicator LEDs and four optocouplers. I'll show you the motor actually in operation in a moment. It's below the picture and I'll have to move the camera. But essentially what we've got here, um, the Arduino is 5 volts. The MC3475 has TTL level input, so it will work with an Arduino. I don't believe it'll work with a 3.3 volt Arduino, but it works well with a 5 volt. Um, the MC3475, which I showed in schematics and pictures and so forth earlier, um, operates really best on 12 volts. So, um, what we've done here, and the reason for the four optocouplers, is the stepper motor drivers that I use are all 5 volts. So the opto isolators will isolate the 12 volts of the system from the uh, 5 volt drives for the stepper motors. Now what's different here as well is uh, as I've redesigned this it will work on unipolar or bipolar stepper motors and I can control both the speed. In this case I have a control here. I can control the speed of the steps which I've slowed down considerably here. If you look at the yellow, yellow LEDs, let's note there's two modes for this. The MC3475 has three inputs that we're mostly concerned with. One is enable that I've wired through an optocoupler to switch on and off. That is, I can shut the whole system completely on and off with a single bit. Then we have an input, and I just wired the switches through the Arduino to the controller. I can go full step, half step, or reverse. In this case, though you won't see this here until we uh, show the motor momentarily, it simply reverses the sequence of pulses. Well, this is the forward and reverse, but you notice something with the LEDs. It is presently in the half-step mode. If you look at the four yellow LEDs, you know part of the time only one LED is on. In full step, we always have two LEDs on at the same time, at least two. In half-step, part of the time it's only one. So, in a half-step mode, only one coil is energized at a time. Uh, there's two co main coils in a stepper motor, be it unipolar or bipolar. And in the half-step mode, we're only having only one coil on at a time. The particular motor that I'm demonstrating here is a 7.5 degree unipolar. That means at 7.5 degrees it takes 48 steps to go 360 degrees. And of course we can forward and reverse as well. So let me move the camera, let me move down and we'll see what the motor itself is doing as I'm flipping the switches. And by the way, the Arduino is programmed to read this control. As I've demonstrated before, it will control the speed. And it can go very fast. Now there are to note there are some limitations on speed. If you have a lot of inductive reactants in a stepper motor, that determines your speed. So you'll notice that a lot of stepper motors, such as perhaps this one,
You notice it says 1.8 degree per step. It's 5.1 volts per phase, and it will draw 1 amp. Um, the other one that I'm using here, of course, is going to be a 12 volt. It's going to actually have a higher inductive reactance, and thus uh, I can't go as fast as I can with this particular motor here, which has a lower inductive reactance, but it takes a higher current to operate. All right, let's look at our motor down below. Okay, welcome back. Um, this is the stepper motor and driver board uh, that's attached to the console with the Arduino and the stepper motor controller we saw earlier. Um, the motor driver board consists of four power MOSFETs and some LED indicators and as you see their motor is running uh, clockwise and stepping through its steps. This particular motor is a 7.5 degree per step so it takes 48 steps to go 360 degrees. If you go back to the control board up there I can of course control the speed by reducing the number the delay between steps. That's how you control stepper motor speed is the delay between steps. The controller is reading a potentiometer and calculating a value. Uh, and of course I can program it to forward or reverse. Then I can go into half step mode. Okay, it looks like it's slowed down quite a bit. Again, I'm going to slow the speed down where you can see what's going on with the LEDs on the driver board. Again, if you look closely, you notice that part of the time only one LED is on. Let me explain how these, this works. If you can see the wire pairs, you have, of course, this particular motor is a unipolar stepper motor. The red and green wires are the center taps on the coil sets. One coil set consists of the uh, brown and black wire. The other coil set is the orange and yellow. And you have to keep them in pairs when you connect them to the optocoupler outputs. In a half-step mode, only one coil is energized at a time. That is one of the two coil sets. And that's why you only see one LED on part of the time. If you're in full step, you always have two LEDs on at any one time. That means two coils are always energized at one time. In half step, only one coil is energized. What that means in the half step mode is that it would take, what, 96 uh, steps to go 360 degrees. And you can see where it slows down in the half step. That's full step. versus half step. And we can go ahead and speed it up again. When I go to full step it goes considerably faster. The neat thing about this particular circuitry is that it will work on a uh, bipolar stepper motor. Guess what? It uses the same code books won't tell you that, tell you that, but they do. Again, the original console that I showed you used optocouplers to isolate the 12 volts of the th MC3475 from the 5 volt input driver circuits. 
So let's take a look at what will happen if we use a bipolar stepper driver assembly. Okay, what you're seeing here is the same connections as we had before, plus I had to add four resistors to the optocouplers to operate a bipolar stepper motor. The stepper motor here is out of a scanner. It's a 1.8 degree per step, so it's going to take uh, 200 steps to go 360 degrees. Let's focus in a little bit more on our stepper motor. Okay, what we have connected here, even though it's down below the uh, picture, and I will zoom in on it momentarily, is a bipolar stepper motor. It came out of a scanner. Now you see the same setup, same pulsating LED collection. Does the exact same thing it does with a bipolar. Let's go down and look at our, I mean, let's go down and look at our unipolar motor, which is here. Let's zoom in a bit. Okay, before I zoom in, look on your left, you will see the uh, it's an L298N driver board. You can get these for about seven dollars with the postage out of Hong Kong off of eBay. Folks, if you're not a great person at soldering, buy the board. Don't try. I, can, I have built these before, but frankly it's not worth the time and effort and cost. Buy one. Let's zoom in on our stepper. Okay, as you, as you can probably see here, it's moving um, at a slow speed. Let me up the speed on the motor. I can forward and reverse it. Real smooth. Won't miss a beat, not a jump or I can drop it to the half step mode where only one coil is energized at a time and it takes 400 steps to go 360 degrees full step forward that is the uh, that's counterclockwise for the stepper forward for the gear And that's the um, MC3479. You could program the Arduino to do this, but frankly, that chip does a far better job, makes the programming of the Arduino much easier, or if you want to use it with a pickaxe or, or a pick chip, I've used it with all three. Hey, the MC3479 is the way to go. They are getting a little hard to get, but they're still available. The idea of this video, of course, is the, uh, teaching somebody how to take a specification sheet and come up with a new way of using something. The MC3479, by the way, was only meant to operate... Um, only three a uh, 300 milliamp coil and it operated at 12 volts hey and it was only designed to operate bipolar motors like I said I can also if I choose to rewire it in I can operate this bipolar 5 volt 1 amp motor which would burn out the chip if it was connected directly. Hey, opto isolators are great devices. And you should have, and the schematic pointed out how to use this. 
So this completes our demo on the MC3479 Arduino Combo. Uh, the schematics and programming are available on my website. I appreciate you watching the video. Thanks, and until next time.